Hello, everyone. Welcome back today. In uh, Panda's fabulous modding tutorials, we will be lagging up a storm, as you can tell. Um, no, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this. Making zombies not burn, speeding them up, and also making them barely hurt us. And for some reason, the sound does not want to stay down. Um, they're giving us a half a heart of damage. They're not burning in sunlight, and they're traveling at high speeds. They're scaring me. Um, but that's what we're doing. You can crank this up to whatever you really feel like. That's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So stay tuned. Here we go. Have fun and learn stuff and tell your mom what you did. Maybe she'll put it on the, uh, the refrigerator or something, whatever she really feels like. All right, let's do this. Hello. Welcome back from that awesome intro of mine. So let's get started. Obviously, you know what we're doing today. We're editing existing entities, which would be the zombie in this case. Um, of course, you can get more technical on other things, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing today, just editing a simple zombie. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you're going to have this installed, uh, MCP, so go ahead and check out my tutorial on that, episode one. Um, so go to source, Minecraft net, Minecraft source to locate your magical thing of, uh, you know, Java files. Scroll down to the entity portion of all of these things and scroll down to the bottom of the entity portion because we're looking for the zombie here. And um, we will find our zombie, entity zombie.java. Open that with Notepad++. That's my preferring uh, NIST, but it's up to you. Um, so we will see a whole string of code here. Let me explain this real quick. I'm not going to explain, explain the public classes yet because that's a little more um, actual coding wise, but let me just explain what we're looking at. We're looking at the zombie. First of all, this is where the zombie uh, texture is located. Uh, mob, and then uh, zombie.png. Um, the move speed, so we can edit this to what we want. I had it at 10.5 previously, I believe. But let's just put it at 20.5. Craziness, right? Um, so it'll be twice as fast as I had it. Um, and then our attack speed will be 1. Actually, let's do it. Yeah, no one. Basically, how um, this is is one equals a half of a heart. So two, hot da da. So the normal zombie inflicts two and a half hearts of damage because it was five. Um, but you know, you get the drift. Um, this portion right here is uh, the code that basically explains that they burn in daylight. So if we were to simply delete this code, um, it would. Uh, let me actually undo that real quick. Um, so you guys can see what I'm deleting. Um, it would make them not burn in daylight, which is what you were seeing earlier. So this entire code from public void on living updates, um, and then all the way down to this ending bracket right here, um, you just delete. Um, so there you go. And uh, that's how you get rid of their burning in daylight. Actually, let's tune this down a little bit. I'm worried that's going to be too high. Let's leave it at 10. Um, and then the sounds here, so we have, uh, um, this is living sound, so this is the, uh, mob.zombie, this is mumbling and groaning and stuff, um, and then the hurt sound, this is zombie hurts, uh, so like, uh, bleh. and then the death, which, uh, I never know because I n never killed a, a mob, I'm um, just kidding, um, but anyways, um, and then down here, we see the item drop, now this is something I'm going to be doing, um, basically we're going to be changing it from a simple feather to a diamond, a magical, magical diamond. It's, it's so great. Anyways, so, uh, how we change this magical thing into a, uh, diamond, um, is what we do is we need to, first of all, um, for a nice index, we need to find, um, the item.java, which we can find by, uh, simply freaking finding the item.java here and opening it with notepad plus plus and uh, scrolling down to the block of text and uh, simply finding diamond now I actually already know what diamond is on the scale of this but uh, actually I'm not even gonna find it I just know how it is actually maybe I yeah here it is diamond now I'm just telling you to open this up because as you can see here shovel steel this is an iron shovel um, notch has a weird way of wording things um, also capitalizing things, he's like, uh, I'm going to capitalize this, but not this, because I'm cool like that. Um, so I recommend you check this out um, first, and then uh, copy and paste this in. So I'm going to be doing a diamond. So I'm going to copy diamond, and uh, go back into our uh, entity zombie, uh, paste 
it um, and replace it the feather in between these two periods. Um, we're gonna save it and uh, go back into our um, our uh, main directory of MCP. We're gonna click the recompile dot bat and basically this will uh, kind of save our changes air quotes there um, of what we've done. Four seconds. There we go. Bam. Then we're gonna run reconfiscate dot bat. Magical. Absolutely magical. Um, now I actually have removed what we've done to the blocks, I believe, maybe, in our uh, last actual tutorial. So there we go, we have a nice fancy new class. So what we're going to do is go into our re folder, our Minecraft folder, uh, copy this class, and go into our Minecraft uh, bin jar folder. Um, go into our WinRAR archiver and paste this in. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, paste this in. And then we will, uh, that's our, us applying our changes. So now I'm going to actually hop into game. That way I, you don't see blue bars and grodiness. So I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. As you can see, we have Castle Defenders installed. So we have a, a castle, uh, quote, castle there. Um, this is actually a pretty cool seed. I mean, look at this. It's, it's not too shabby, you know, random world. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and... Uh, run this baby and test it out. First of all, I was wrong when I said that we don't have the blocks installed. We do. For some reason, the sound does not want to stay put. And that might be a bug of something. Not our mod, probably that mod right there. Um, but every time I toggle it down, just toggle it back up when I close the game. Anyways, so we have our uh, our first first mod. I can't speak, for Pete's sakes. Our first, f the, the first mod installed. Um, which was our block editing and our super hard actual dirt and whatever. So um, now we're gonna prove. I just haven't tested this. Cross your fingers, mates. Um, hello, hello. Not burning, running with the speed of light, uh, damaging us with a one half heart. So our mod is successful. Congratulations on your second mod, hopefully, um, of editing the zombie into a uh, super fast creature um, who has the legs of a runner. And and the the damage of an infant and the awesomeness of nothing, but um, you know, you know. Anyways, um, so let's just um, let's spawn another spawn zombie. And I don't know if our diamond thing actually worked. Up, oh, um, oh balls, balls, man, balls to the walls. Um, what I need to do is get myself a sword and slay this creature. Okay, the diamond thing didn't work, and I'm not sure exactly why. Um, but, uh, who knows? You know, just leave that out of your actual mod. Um, leave the feather alone. It might have been something I did. Um, uh, but who knows? You know, maybe you should just leave that section alone. Um, but that was actually me testing. <laughs> Um, testing in game, you know, live on camera, me testing modding theories. But anyways, that didn't work um, clearly, and I'm about to die. Uh, what is it? Health ten? No. Um, I don't. I don't even know. What is this? Health five? No. Okay. I I obviously don't know these commands. But um, thank you guys for watching. I realized the actual um, editing. Oh, I'm really about to die. Um, editing of the diamond drop didn't work, and I apologize for that. Maybe it was something I did otherwise. And then, yeah, there I go. I died. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I apologize for that little part. Um, but uh, n nonetheless, I hope this helped, and I will see you guys in my next modding tutorial and, and stuff and, and stuff. It always seems something goes wrong, you know, when I'm when I'm doing this because I, I don't have the actual brains to think about it in a long period of time but um you know last time we got the title all mixed up and uh this time we have that all mixed up look i'm guarding my cactus with magical dirt look it, it takes forever to break thanks to our mod well thank you guys for watching if you have any problems with your mod let me know in a comment below or a personal message um but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i will uh oh man this this seat is really cool and i'll see you guys later peace